All right, guys and gals, Sweet Project Cars back here with cool, trick, and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer. This is the continuation of our PDR, or as we call it, NDR, for novice dent removal, to try to help you and show you how to pull dents from your own cars and others' cars, other cars, if you want to make some money with it. You can make a thousand bucks a week or a thousand bucks on a weekend pulling dents for other people. I like to use a piece of paper. Now, if you get your light right and you see this, you can see the distortion. The paper bows in and out because it shows the dent in there. I like to do this. Sometimes I'll hold a flashlight there so I can see the actual distortion in there. That's just a little trick that I use. Other guys use uh, lights set up where they can see the bars and the light and do all that. I don't mess with any of that stuff. We need another dent. How do we do that? Take our tool. We're going to put one right here. Okay. Now you see our glue tab fell off. That's how well, you. that's how much you have to worry about that sticking so tight that it pulls the clear off. Now we're going to glue the tab back on. So you never have to worry about that. You put the tab on, barely push it in, let it mushroom out around it. Just like that, and you're good. We're going to show you the technique, and you keep working the dent until you get it up higher than the body. That's where this comes in, that you'll actually knock the dent back down and get it so it's flush. You don't hurt the paint doing this. You just put it on. It's got a little slot in it right there. You put it on your tab. And you pull back, don't, you know, it's going to be loose in there. Pull back on it so it's on it and go. That's it. Now, that dent just about pulled out perfect right there. This is where your rubbing alcohol comes in. A little bit of rubbing alcohol. You can put it in a little spray bottle if you want. Watch this. Rubbing alcohol and this glue are enemies. Remember that. I don't let it set very long, so the glue usually comes off, and that's what I want. Now, say for instance, there's glue residue here. You take your plastic razor blade, I put a little, little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol on it, and watch this. And that dent is just about out in one pull. Pretty darn close. Let's put another... Uh, tab on there. Now I can see the dent. I don't need to hold the paper up there like I told you before. And I can hold it right here and I can see that distortion in the paper line. So I don't need to do that yet because I can feel it and I can see it and it's barely there. That first pull worked like a charm. Again you put a little bit of glue on I put it right in the center, then I stick it right there, and barely push in, hold it for three, four, five seconds, it's on. Wait maybe 30 seconds to five minutes, depending on how bad the dent is. Now this dent that we just put in the car, we'll see how that rolls with that uh, bar system. All right, I just put it on, maybe 30 seconds went by, we're gonna put it on again. And you keep doing it until you get the dent pulled up. Now, perfect. There's the tab, still good as new. No glue on it. This is where you take your spray bottle. Now a lot of times that'll peel right off, a lot of times it won't. Now, if you see the dent is still there, you can glue onto your tab and glue onto the existing glue on here. Not going to hurt a thing. But I want to show you how to remove the glue tab. And like I said, a little bit of rubbing alcohol right there. I move it around it, let it get in there. Look at this. Watch off. Okay, I can slightly feel the dent, very slightly. 
As long as I can keep feeling it, I don't need any type of, you know, distortion paper or hold the light up there or whatever to see the distortion. And you can look across it and you can hold the light up here if you want and you can look across and see the dent. I can see it right here. Once you get light reflecting on it, you can see the dent. This is a wash, rinse, repeat. You keep doing it and doing it and doing it until you get the dent up where you want it. Don't try to do the dent pole all in one pole, okay? Don't try to do that. And if you've seen the dent that I put in there compared to what it looks like now, it's 100 times better. Now let's set up this right here while that's dry. I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit longer. Like that, just like that. Push it in a little bit, let it mushroom out. Don't push all the glue out the side. This bear walks into the bar and he says to the bartender, I would like a whiskey and cola. Bartender looked at him and said, why such the big paws? Said Bear looked at him and said, what? I was born with those. All right, now we put our little rigmarole right here. And these are swivel, like this. You put it on like this and it follows the contour of the body. And I'll tell you folks, if you want to try this little kit right here, they're cheap and you can try it. As you tighten this up, it'll, in theory, pull the dent out, okay? Now, did you get that joke? Why the big paws? He says, I don't know what you're talking about. I was born with them. All right, we're going to let that set. We're not gonna do any pulling, but as I tighten this up, I can see it actually pulling the body panel. You can see it when you get this kit. You can see it pulling the body panel out. We're going to let her set up good and see what it actually does. You turn it upside down, pull back on it with a little bit of pressure, and then put this hammer all the way forward. And if that happens, you do it again. Now that's the way I like to see it happen. I like to see it so that a little bit of the glue stays on the tab, and you can see it pulled the glue out of the tab, out of the uh, piece that we glued on. That means that you had a huge and severe adhesion, which is really what you want. You want that to really, really stick on there. Now I can see the dent. We're gonna just glue that one more time. It's still clean. And if I have that, you can take the, now listen to this. You can take the glue that's on the tab and take your glue gun and hold it there and remelt it and get it so it's there and then put a little extra on there. You don't have to, you can let that glue that was on there melt and then put fresh glue on top of it. Then you get even more adhesion. All right, we're going to tighten this one up. All right, I don't, like I said, timing, it's, you'll get it down. You'll get it down on how long you should leave it. Should I, you know, only do it for a few seconds. Pulling back on it again. Pull back on it, put some pressure on the tab. Okay, pull back, put your hammer all the way forward, and then you're going to slam it back. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, folks, that dent is gone. Watch. Just that little bit peels it right off. Doesn't scratch the paint. That dent's gone. Screw it in real slow. It's pulling it. I can see it pulling the panel out good. Okay, we're screwing it out. I like it. I'm going to keep going. Bingo. All right, she's popped off, and we're now going to remove the glue. Start at the top, 
let that alcohol work its way in behind that rubber. Watch this. That dent is still there. Yes, it did pull it up. There's a tiny little dent right in the center. Now for this tool, we found that it works good on pulling the main part of the dent out, but you'll always end up having to go back to this right here, to the slide hammer. Okay, we're gonna let that set up. Now since I've gotten it down to the point where I can pull the dent right out almost perfectly flush, I'm not getting the chance to share with you how to use your knockdown tool. So I'm gonna to try to get this one to do it so I can share with you how to use it. But the key behind this, if, if I pull this out and it's flat, I'm not gonna put another dent in the car so I can pull it out. But let me tell you a little bit about the knockdown tool. Say that when you pull the dent up, you can feel and it's raised up. You pulled it up too high. You take your knockdown tool, which these are plastic so they don't damage the paint and you tap it and you tap the dent don't worry if you mark the paint a little bit you're not going to hurt it because you're going to buff it back out and you tap it down like this until you get it where you want you see no distortion in it that's how you beat the dent back down Simple. I'm serious. It really is. Don't let it, don't be feeling overwhelmed by the whole situation. Put our rig on, pull back. Wow, that came out beautiful. And you hold your paper up there, or you hold your light up there, and you see where your distortion is. And you're looking for the reflection of the paper in there. So if you have a stool you can set your light up on, you can actually get that reflection in there nice. And right now, I can hold the light bars there and see the tiny little dent. You see it? Just a tiny little one.